so welcome to one hour build it's me walker by myself again which is okay um it's friday and i'm excited this week's project content wise is not that crazy it's a leather bow tie but concept wise i think it's kind of fun and you can do it in so many different ways that uh it's really open-ended if you don't have the leather then we also have a wood contemporary tie, so you can have all your uh, hipster friends jealous, which you can do tons of different ways. It has slots, so you can actually fit the uh, neck fitting in there and rock it like that. So we have those designs, and the design itself for the leather or fabric is just a single piece of 11 inch, it's 11 inch leather. Um, if you have some scrap leather, if you cut up a couch or an old jacket or something like that, you can make the leather one. Uh, if not, you can make a jean one or whatever you have laying around. So that's what I think about this project being cool or even for your best friend like this guy. That's a cute puppy. So <clears throat> if you use the leather, I'm going to show you how to make this guy and fold it up. It's real simple. And earlier I tried to add some uh, details in there, some polka dots. And I kind of failed because as you can see, I tried to do double pass and I forgot that I cut the outside and it shifted and then it threw off those holes. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid that by running this job again. So let me look in my notes because there's a lot I wanted to cover. When it comes to leather, we haven't brought this up before, but there's a measurement for leather specifically, and it doesn't measure thickness by millimeters or centimeters. Normal, normally, normal measurements don't apply, so they call it ounces. Um, this is something I learned fairly recently. I think it kind of throws you off because typically that's weight, but that's how they measure leather at most leather places. So if you go in there and you talk about how many ounces this is, then you're ahead of the game and you sound like you know what you're talking about. That mic swap threw me off. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so if we dive into the software, I'm going to show you the design in RE3. So I'm just going to drag and drop this PDF file that I made and wait for it to load. There we go. Now, I'm going to cover this like you have no idea what I'm talking about. You've never used our software before. Uh, so bear with me if you're advanced. There goes the mic. Um, so we're just going to be cutting this. We don't want to raster this at all. So we'll just go down and just delete this raster portion of it because it is picking up. So we don't want that. We'll delete it. Now we have just our vector. The speed settings, power settings, current setting have all been saved because that's what I cut this before earlier. I just want to cut those holes, uh, do a double pass on those holes. So with leather, it is very fibrous. So you can cut it almost all the way through and there's little fibers still holding it together. And I don't want to scorch the edge too bad worrying about those. So as a whole, this file design, I'm going to do that single pass and just tear it out of the leather. Leather's good because you can cut most of it and it will still tear out. As for the little holes, I don't want to tear all those little holes out. That's going to take valuable time. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do a double pass on those holes. So if we go back to the, 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 the design, you'll see that there's, it's just all red. Now, how do I change that inside of the software? I, I want to run two different uh, power settings. Double pass on those holes. So what I'm going to do is just double click that outside vector line. Whoops. There we go. We'll double click this. I keep triple clicking it. Double click. There we go. Now we have separated that into a different element. And I'm going to change this in the vector properties over here. 
I'm going to not give it a fill, but I'm going to change the color to, let's say, this light blue color. So now you'll see that there's a light blue and a red present in the software. And those are going to have two different power settings associated with them because I want to cut out the one with one power setting and then the inside holes with another power setting, which really it's the same power setting, but I want to do double passes. We want to do the outside line first, so we're going to go and keep it on the top. The top is going to represent what it's going to cut first versus the bottom. So this outside line, I'm going to change it to those same power settings that I had for the other one. 100 power, and I'm lowering the current so I get a better edge quality. And then remember, I want to change these to a two-pass setup. So now I have it set up, so it's going to cut that outside and then cut that inside. You know what? I had that reversed. It's super simple, though. I'm going to cut that inside first, so I'll drag the red on top. I can't believe I went through all of that, and it was reversed. So now I'm going to do a double pass of the insides and then a single pass on the outside after all those holes are cut through. Now, if we put uh, the software in a small picture and then the machine in a large picture, I'm going to take a picture of the actual leather inside of the, uh, the machine itself. So I've already focused. I'm going to go into the software and I'm going to just take a picture. I'm going to capture my workspace says, uh, you know, check your focus. I'm good. I'm going to hit continue. And now the machine is taking a picture, nine pictures exactly, and stitching them all together. And this is perfect because we have an odd shaped slab of leather. I just cut this off of a huge roll I have at home. I didn't measure anything. I wasn't too worried about it. So now in the software, if we go mainly to the software, you will see that it captured that chunk of leather pretty good. It looks like a skewed Africa or something. I don't know. But you'll see the, the design on top. And I can simply scroll over this and just drag it where I want it to be on that leather. That is probably the best part for the as the camera feature comes that's my favorite part um, so we know that that's going to fit on top of our material and I'm just going to run a perimeter and if we go to the machine real quick thank you Charles you'll see that it's exactly where it is on the software pretty cool looks good and now I'm just going to start that job. Looks pretty good. This leather actually has a metallic, metallic-y top finish, which I really don't know what it is on top of that. Um, should be safe to cut. I mean, it doesn't smell weird at all, except for the burning flesh part. But it, it does make it a little crackly. So I'm, I'm assuming that there might be some sort of actual tiny metallic flakes in there. It smells great, actually. Charles, you want to turn on that fume extractor real quick that I forgot to turn on? Thank you. So this is just me experimenting with the piece of leather. I really don't know if this polka dot design is going to look cool. But if you do d take this design and want to do something yourself, you see where you want to put the actual designs. Those polka dots are in the area where it's going to be effective, where you see your design. You could take a different piece of leather and back this actual piece. So those holes cut into and you can see a different color leather on the other side. I like stacking uh, these types of projects, layering them. Looks really cool. 
Um, so just experiment with it. And that's why I think this one is kind of fun because you can experiment, see what's cool. And it has many different options. If you want to put a clip on this uh, or, you know, some band, they do just sell the basic band. Uh, just anything you really want to do. It's a pretty open source file. I like it a lot. And after it's cut, I'm going to show you how to fold it and uh, put the bow all together. Sorry, I'm watching it cut on the screen in front of me. It's pretty cool. I'm just going to grab this. Now, this is something I wanted to show you. It didn't cut all the way through with the main design, but I didn't really mind because I can just do this and the outside's still fine. But those little holes, I didn't want to punch through every one. And it looks like on this side, since it was a little bowed, I still have to pick a little bit off which is not too horrible. I really should have taped the piece down. Um, then I wouldn't have to worry that about that at all. But you know, you get, you get content with the laser and you think you know everything. And then uh, you kind of forget other stuff. So I'll just pick out these holes. And just as a reminder, if when I was first prototyping this piece, I just used a piece of paper, uh, very similar to kind of fabric wise. So I just took this design, cut it out of paper, and then just tested it out so I didn't waste any uh, precious leather material. So we'll take this design and we will fold it into what will look like a bow tie. So we'll start with this arm and we'll bring it until this line is lined up with these tiny little lines you can't even see uh, on camera, but you will see it in person. So we'll line that up and then we'll line this guy up and just bring him up just a little further than halfway. And then you're going to kind of pinch him and twist him upwards and you'll have a shape like this. My hands are full of soot. And then you'll kind of fold this guy in a little bit and then bring it down. And then fold this guy in a little bit. Don't struggle on camera. And then fold it back to the back. And you'll just want to hold it and pinch it and then just kind of move it around. And uh, you'll see, playing with it, it'll kind of start taking shape. And probably pinch that a little more. It's looking a, a bit unshapely. But once you play with it and get it, you'll see. And honestly, as a prototype, I'm not too crazy about the polka dots. It's kind of cool, I guess. If there was a second layer, it would be even better. Um, but I kind of like the plane. It's super clean. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you guys were watching In The Cut, we've been doing a lot of different materials and machines that are a lot more interesting than I think we normally do. Yesterday, we did a motorcycle motorcycle headlight grill for my motorcycle out of steel and I actually put it on my motorcycle last night just to try it out I think it looks pretty cool I don't like it I like the basic headlight but I think other people will like it it's a cool design right right Charles that's cool yeah uh, let me know what you think so until next time I hope you learned something and uh, Join us every week, four shows. Watch everyone, because we're watching you. Until next time, 